there, welcome back to my channel, We Be Builds, or if you're new here, hi, my name's Aaliyah and I'm a builder in The Sims 4. So today's video is the first build I am doing with the new Paranormal pack. I'm super excited about this build and about this pack. I adore the build by. It's so stunning and just so perfect. And while I will be in the future doing more like boho style builds using the pack because honestly the pack is perfect for that kind of build, I decided to start off with the more spooky haunted house type build. So this one here is a manor, a haunted manor I should say. And this is the first kind of build like this I've really done on my channel. Like I don't tend to do like manor, colonial, or not there's not that this is a castle but like more castle vibe type builds I don't tend to do a lot of those I tend to do more like family homes or just modern houses generally more modern slash traditional but this build was so much fun and it kind of made me realize that I need to just like diversify my build style a lot and I, I guess my build style isn't like not diverse I would say. I do have a bunch of variety in what I do but I want to make it more various. However that'll be kind of after I get through my Simspiration in Newcrest series because that series is kind of the whole point is that they all kind of look like they're from Pinterest and Pinterest like I have a vision you know. So after that I don't know we'll see we'll see I don't know. <laughs> but also hi for anyone that's new once again, my name is Aaliyah, Build in The Sims 4. I am currently doing a series where I am rebuilding Newcrest. This build is not a part of that, but if you're interested in watching those, um, I will link up the playlist in the description and feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. And also, if you enjoy this video and you like what you see, feel free to hit that like button. It would really help me grow my channel. And yeah, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the new pack. Have you gotten it? Are you waiting for sale? Are you like, mm -mm, not getting that pack? Nope. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also about the build. Let me know what you think of the build. <laughs> so let's talk about the build. <laughs> so this manor, uh, I'm just like in awe of it because I just, I've made it really overgrown and you can see I've already put like the greenery on the outside of the building and I didn't really show the placement of it but it's all just the Discover University as well as some snowy escape plants as well on the outside of the building and so that was amazing. Discover University really came in clutch for this build. Um, I probably would have made it a little more spooky looking on the outside if it if I had vampires because I think that or I think Strangerville is another pack people use for those kind of builds so those would be really useful if you're thinking of making a build in like a more spooky style I would recommend those builds I mean packs I don't have them but I think those are the ones that people use um, however if you want to do something more like this build where it's kind of like a manor that's kind of been run down over time, probably because it's haunted and the people moved out, then I used a lot of Discover University in this build and it's a really good pack for that. And also Realm of Magic is also a really nice pack um, for doing this as well. So just a little tips on types of packs in case you were planning on getting some new ones in a future sale. Those are kind of my recommendations for this style of build. Um, I think I used some get together as well on the outside. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. I used a lot of packs in this build, don't get me wrong, but I'm just talking about like the ones I used probably the most. I actually used a lot of base game windows though on the outside, which is really refreshing because I don't tend to like them because they don't fit like my modern builds, but they actually fit really nicely on this build. And we're already on the inside. I apologize I cut a lot of the landscaping but I feel like you got the gist of it I used a lot of debug and placed a lot of grasses and weeds just made it look really overgrown you can see um, you probably already saw it but in the tour you'll also see a little bit of that as well at the end of the video but now we are in the inside that first room was just the hallway 
It's pretty basic. I love the new wallpapers that came with this pack. The colors are so rich and beautiful. I'm very excited to do a like boho kind of build. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but very, very excited to use those wallpapers for that, as well as the new curtains. Mmm, stunning. And this is the dining room. I wanted this house to be very like, and it's an older build, so all of the rooms are broken up. That's not open concept at all. So we've got our dining room and then off right behind it, we've got our kitchen as well, which we will go into in a moment. And then we have the living room on the other side of the house. And so it's all spread out. And I really like that. Um, it really speaks to this style of home in this like whatever century this home came from because I do a lot of the more modern builds, as I said, or traditional modern. I don't know what the word for that is. Um, I do a lot of those, I feel like, and a lot of them have open concepts. And so it's really refreshing to kind of have to make a floor plan, basically, because a lot of the times you don't really need to have a, an elaborate floor plan if you're doing an open concept house. So it was kind of fun doing that here. And so this house ends up with two bedrooms and three bathrooms on the ga gallery. It does say that there's only two bathrooms, but that was just a mistake on my part. I just, I, I put it in wrong. It does have three bathrooms, one on the main floor, which is just like a powder room style with just a sink and a toilet. And then the two upstairs, one is an ensuite, the other one's just in the hallway and they both have um, the ability to like bathe your Sims in them. And then I just kind of kept with the older style here in the kitchen as well, using some Rebel Magic and base game cabinets and just kind of went with that. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic, I would say. But um, you know what? I do have a picture of all the pack information. So I'll let you know what packs I used. I did use quite a lot of them because my plan was to play with this build myself, which I did today on stream and so also, in case you didn't know, I started streaming on Twitch about just over a month ago now, and if you're interested in that, my socials are in the description down below, and you can check out my Twitch if you want to hang out. I do builds often on Sims, and then Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing as well are the three games I've been streaming. Um, may diversify later on, but right now I only stream two days a week. That is. Wednesday and Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time zone. So yeah, today on stream, I just kind of went through and played with the paranormal pack and first of all, would recommend it. It's so much fun. For a stuff pack, it like, it's just really fun. It And then you can make it hard mode too. If you click on, oh, that hand that I just placed in this hallway table. Um, if you click on that hand, you can make it so that things are more difficult or you can like disable Ghidri vi visits if you want as well. And so I ended up going into the heroic mode and it's just so fun and it's just so chaotic. I ended up having a bunch of Sims come over for a dinner party, but because it's a haunted house, they all just got so spooked and it was just so fun messing with all the Sims. Honestly, would recommend, it's so much fun. Okay, but yeah, I was gonna tell you the packs. So we've got Snowy Escape. Um, must have used like a plant or two of that, to be honest. Um, Eco Lifestyle, Discover University, Island Living. I use that for some curtains. <laughs> Seasons, City Living, Get Together, Journey to Batu, Realm of Magic, Jungle Adventure, Parenthood, Spa Day, Paranormal Stuff, obviously. Uh, Tiny Living and Laundry Day, Bowling Stuff. I don't remember using Bowling Stuff, but I guess I did. <laughs> and ooh backyard stuff. I get the logos mixed up. I think it's backyard stuff and movie hangout. And so this is quite an expensive home. Um, so you'd probably want to use the free real estate sheet to have your Sims play in this home. It is <laughs> $216,000 and 364. So yeah, it's it's quite it's quite expensive and it is obviously haunted house residential so that you get all those haunted house playabilities and like I said, two bedrooms, three bathrooms. And uh what size lot? 40 by 30. I placed it in Willow Creek and on the gallery if you're interested in downloading it. It's a really 
I don't know what's up with the gallery right now, but sometimes you know how there's trees in the way? This time, instead of a tree being in the way, it just like zoomed way out. So if you find it on the gallery, it's just the really zoomed out picture for some reason, but yeah, in case you were wondering. <laughs> and it's got also, instead of a third bedroom, I decided to put a library in. So if you really wanted this like house and the shape of it, but you needed another bedroom, literally just close it off and voila, you've got another bedroom. But I kept it as a, a library so that there's like a chess table, a little computer, and just some like basic, oh, I think there's an easel as well. So for skill building and just more vibey things for an old house, I thought it was a great, fantastic, lovely idea. And uh, I don't know, the pack is just so lovely. And while I didn't use like the more modern looking of the furniture, cause that wasn't the style of house I'm going for, I can see the usability with so many other packs. And uh, I just love it. I am so happy with the pack and playing it was fun. And you know me, I don't do gameplay. Like I only ever build, but playing it today on stream, I streamed for like almost four hours and I tend to tap out at around three hours. So <laughs> that just shows how much fun I was having. And I don't know, I just, it was a lot of fun. It's a really honestly pretty good gameplay. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, so yeah, these two bedrooms I think are just very bright and colorful. But they have the same wallpaper, but I tried to make them look somewhat different as well. This one's a little smaller. It doesn't have the ensuite. And the other one is slightly bigger and does have the ensuite and has like the cutest little seating nook in here. I just think it looks so cute. I don't know why, but it's so cute. I love the like uh, little couch we got in this game or in this pack, sorry. I just think it looks so cute. You'll see it in just a moment. I'll be placing it and it looks, I just really like it. And then I put like the new um, coffee table we got as well in front of it and just, just kind of cluttered it around with some plants. Oh yeah, here's what I'm talking about here. Um, I kind of really liked the vibe that the chair was like the same color as the wallpaper and then I used those Island Living um, sheer curtains as well just to kind of vibe it up. Best, honestly, best nook of the house. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Um, we are going to come up onto the tour in just a moment, um, so if you liked this video, please consider hitting the like button, leaving a comment down below, letting me know what you think, what's your favorite part about the build, about the new pack, and if you haven't already and you like my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button, it I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, we'll head into the tour now and I'll see you in the next one, so bye bye!